Welcome to Tech Brothers with Dame. Today we are going to answer this question. What are the few column names that SysSSIS log table have to store log information? By asking this question, what they want to understand? Do you know about login? Login is the information or runtime information for a SSIS package that we log or write to some kind of file that can be text file, that can be XML file, and that can be SQL server table, or that can be uh, our trace file and that can be open uh, by using the SQL profile. We can also write the information to the Windows log events. Now in this case when uh, we are talking about this SSIS log that means we are writing the information to the SQL server table. Let's go to the SSDT and uh, I will show you what exactly I have done. Here uh, go to login. Uh, I have set up a SQL server login for this uh, uh, package. I have a separate video in this uh, th that one I have showed you step by step how to enable SQL Server login for a package. Here what we see we have containers, we have package, we have uh, data flow and if I would have execute SQL task uh, for each loop that you will see here. Next part is details. Here all the events are available on error, on pre-execution, on success, uh, on uh, progress, on failure. So all those events are available. Events are going to be different uh, for each of the uh, uh, container. If you are on package level, you will see different events. They might, some of them uh, are similar, but uh, some of them will be different uh, according to the container. So if you have for each loop container, that might have different uh, events. The last part, uh, what we have here, that's uh, where you have defined uh, or uh, given the database uh, connection manager where you want to write uh, the information. The information will be written to sys SSIS log table in that database. Right now what I have, uh, this is the table in our test database uh, and uh, that's where information will be written. Now you see that I don't have any record. I'm going to run the package and then come back and relate the things and show you the information in that table. I'm putting all those event uh, information. So these are going to be a lot of records for even two. Uh, I have only one data flow, but there will be a lot of records for that one. Execute the uh, SQL. We have 899 records here. That's okay. That's not a best practice. We are logging all the events. So my goal was to show you the table structure and walk you through. And in the next video, we will talk about which are important events or not. So here what we see, we have ID, that's auto identity and uh, that will be incremented with one. Next we have events. So here I had showed you different events uh, what we have. So those are the names of the events uh, that will be logged in uh, this event table uh, column. Next one is uh, on which uh, computer your package is going to run or uh, it is uh, it actually it ran. That's the uh, computer name will be in this uh, computer column. The operator will have the information who run the package. So in this case I ran the package, that's what my name is here and if we are running the uh, SSIS package by SQL Server Agent job then service account that's running the SQL Server Agent that uh, service account name would be here. Now next part is source. The source column is a, uh, is a, is a column that will have information uh, about the executables. We have package so as in pre-execution, then we have data flow. Inside the data flow, we are using connection managers and then we also have the sources inside the data flow. Let's go back and take a look. So we have source one, source two, merge and uh, multicast. So all those different transformation and source and destinations, they will be here and in the source. You So you can see that different uh, levels of uh, executables. So connection two, if you see that we have connection one, connection two, source one, source two, and the, that's all is going to be in the sources. For each of the sources, there would be unique uh, ID that's uh, assigned to them. So this is what uh, you will have in the source ID. So this is a GUID that is assigned on each of the executables such as uh, package, data flow, um, connection manager, and uh, then you have uh, uh, inside the transformation uh, data flow you have transformations if you have four for each loop that, that will be having different source ID the execution ID will be assigned uh, to the each of the source so you can see that uh, different uh, 
um, execution IDs are assigned to that. In this this one, if you see that this has only two execution IDs, so it is, has on package level and it has on the data flow. So that's how you, you will see that you will not see the different execution ID on uh, the uh, transformations um, uh, level. So in the data flow, we have this uh, execution ID and the that these are all subcomponents of uh, uh, that data flow like source uh, sources transformation and all that so they will be using the same id we have start time and end time of that event when it is going to starting it is going to put that information here and then that's what the uh, time we will have here so if you can see here we have 39 here we started at 39 then uh, the pa that's the pa package start time and then uh, when our other um, information um, or executables are running so it will uh, log that information start time and end, end, end time so data code is an uh, optional information uh, that you will have it zero means success uh, if you have one that means failure if you have two that means completion and if you have three that means uh, um, it's cancelled so th that's a uh, data code this, this code is also there um, there, I was trying to find out more information or list of the data codes and uh, give you information but I couldn't really find out a whole lot but also in the data code you will be see the progress of uh, those uh, data flows so here if we see on the progress it will say on progress 25 percent so that data flow has completed 25 percent and next uh, you go and it is it will show you some point 75 and then 100 so on progress we can see that number as well in the data code the last one uh, sorry uh, the second last is data bytes this is an also optional information the column type is image and uh, I couldn't really find out a whole lot information uh, on this one and uh, this can be optional information that you want to look into that and um, I, I haven't used this column uh, over the time when when I'm working in different companies so message is the column that column has all the information if error happened this is this is the column where you are going to take a look so uh, you will see begin execution validation and all that and you will also see the error information that's more important than okay where, where exactly the pa package failed what was the reason what was the source at that time and uh, on which um, what was the time when it failed so all that information you can grab from there so by if you ask me which columns I use mostly so in this case uh, this computer name and operator these are really going to be the same for all of the packages as you are running on production or in different environments so th this table will be containing pretty much same information as long as you are not running manually and by you know some users are running or your developers are running uh, so you will see them different on production you probably don't let the developers run your packages so these will be uh, having service account information the important one are source which source is running or what time it started what time it ended and then the message what is the message uh, and when uh, on daily basis you would not really go back and ch keep checking your logs and um, uh, it is a more uh, kind of requirement when the error happen so when error happen that's that's the only way you always go back to the logging log tables or files and uh, start digging into that but on daily basis you are not gonna sort out uh, or go through mi millions of rows uh, for your login and uh, just uh, take a look like okay what's happening and how many how many entries are in this table so if you see here we have 899 uh, records uh, just for one data flow think about that you have 100 packages and each of them has 100 uh, or not 100 maybe 10 data flow some uh, other executables as well how many entries it will put so that that's uh, a lot of records I recommend you to purge or delete the old uh, records in this table keep your data base in a simple recovery when you delete it you do not want to fill the transaction log so that's pretty much it for this one and uh, I will see you guys in next video.